Hi guys, I'm Brandon. And I'm Jodie Lee. And welcome back to By Faith, where we're on Lesson 2 Friday, which is our summary for the week. <laughs> and um, this week has been a really cool week, and I think it's been really appropriate, um, especially considering that it has been, I think, the first week of 2021, right? Yeah, it is. This year that we all thought would be like the answer to all of our prayers, the solution to COVID. The like, minute 2021 comes, COVID has to run away. Yeah, I think we literally thought like it was the cure, like yes. 2021 would be the cure. I but don't need a vaccine or medication, <laughs> I just need 2021. <laughs> But spoiler alert, unless you guys haven't noticed, COVID's still here. And I think it's actually probably worse than, well, it feels like it's worse than it was um, mm. definitely a few months ago. Um, and so I think God knew, not I think, God knew, guys. He knew what we need to listen to, what we need to hear. And so we look at a story in Isaiah, which at first glance, you're like, oh, we're just reading about old people. But actually, Isaiah found himself in a situation which was very similar to ours. Uzziah, who wasn't um, a very good king bad king oh he was a good king to start off with but he ended up being Got bad corrupted yes um and we, we learned a whole bunch about him and how his pride resulted in his fall so you can go check out sunday's video to learn more about that but the part i want to focus in on is how this king's dead and there's a whole bunch of other armies that are trying to attack um isaiah hmm. and um isaiah is like like scared, obviously, right? Because <laughs> you got some rain on your classes. <laughs> I got so much rain on my classes. Um, but Isaiah is like scared because there's no king. There's foreign nations that want to come in and he doesn't know the future. And I think we can relate, right? There's COVID, there's work stresses. The economy is gone to trash um, and we're scared, right? And God gives Isaiah this vision. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. Um, God gives Isaiah this vision of him in the temple. Um, and if you guys didn't watch our Saturday video, go check it out because I think it summarizes it quite well. But basically God is saying, I'm still in control. Yes, there's these scary armies. Yes, mm. the king is dead, but I'm actually the king and I'm in my temple and I've got this, you know? Um, and yeah, that's kind of the my favorite part of the lesson. Um, we covered, we continued with the story about how- Can I um, talk about my favorite yes, part? Yes, yes. And then we continued with the story <laughs> about how Isaiah put up his hand when God said, yes. will anyone go for me? Like how often in the Bible do we see stories where God asked Jonah to do something and I made the mistake in the last video of saying uh, never. Jonah. I Jonah. <laughs> um, but anyways, when God asks us to go to places like Jonah yes. um, and we're like, no, I'm not going to go because that's not a real place, Lord. Um, so anyways, often people, uh, prophets do that. Moses didn't want to go. Jonah didn't want to go. And there's like throughout the Bible, there's a massive track record of humans just not doing what God asked them to do. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was so refreshing that God asked someone to do something and he didn't even ask Isaiah he just said will anyone go yes, he didn't ask. and Isaiah he said, was like will go? I'll me, go me. <laughs> yeah. and that's so cool and, and I think the part that stuck out to me is just before that God gave him this vision this mm. temple of encouragement um, so I thought that's a cool thing for us when we're feeling down when we don't really feel like going we don't feel like, feel like putting up a hand or turning to God to go back and look at the sanctuary exactly. um, and the message that's there which is that Jesus came to save us and that that's still going to happen guys we're still going to heaven no matter how bad COVID gets yeah. heaven is still a promise and it's still real mm. so I I hope you guys will go back and check out the videos and or at least go back and study your lesson because it might seem like a boring read of Isaiah, but it's actually an amazing message of hope for us, especially as we go into face these uncertain times like 2021, Isaiah was doing the same thing, this uncertain Amen. time with no king. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, him. we need to be more like Isaiah and just like jump at it. When God calls us to do something, jump at it. Yes. If the next time someone asks you to volunteer in church or maybe like lead out in Sabbath school, jump at it. <laughs> the next time somebody says, hey, we're having a, like an outreach program, jump at it. Be like Isaiah. Or if somebody says, hey, we got like a, a soup kitchen or something. Yeah. Be like Isaiah and just jump at it. That's God speaking to you. Exactly. You know? So you can continue the trend of bad prophets, bad kings, <laughs> and bad people in the Bible, or you could be like the great Isaiah who was quoted by Catch This, Jesus Christ Ooh, himself. Yeah. yeah, you can check out Thursday's lesson to hear that. <laughs> um, and if you enjoyed learning about Isaiah, because I know I really did, I love seeing the prophecies in context and um, yeah, learning about things that verses I've heard forever, but actually like how they can relate to me. Mm. If you enjoyed that, then please consider subscribing because that's what we're doing for this whole quarter. So like the next few months, it's all about Isaiah. It looks like we're going to be going through it like verse by verse, chapter by chapter, a little bit all over the place, but it looks like really interesting. So I hope that you'll stick around and join with us. And we'd love to hear your thoughts below in the comments as always. Amen. Cool. Should we close and pray quickly? We certainly can. You can pray. Awesome stuff. Heavenly Father God, Lord, we want to thank you for this beautiful lesson, Lord, um, that seeks to educate us a little bit more about you, Lord. 
and uh, shows us the struggles that Isaiah had to face. And we can sort of uh, draw parallels with our times and with COVID and with 2020 as a whole, Lord. And we can say, hey, Isaiah, we know what you're going through, but <laughs> we also had it tough. But we can see how you dealt with Isaiah and how you rescued him from those bad situations. And that can give us faith and trust that you can do the same thing uh, for us. You can turn 2021 into its own year. It doesn't have to copy the trends <laughs> of 2020. Uh, that's something you're capable of, Lord. Um, so we pray that you'll be with us, protect us, and guide us through this year and navigate us through this sinful, terrible world, Lord, and lead us home where we desire to be with you. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>